guys, it's the Fright Warren coming at you with a new video. Tonight I'm playing another round of Star Wars Fleet Battles, but it's a little different for me this time, uh, in a number of good ways. So you may already know that Squadron supports VR, and I have been dying to try it out, but the Valve Index VR kit I bought has been on back order for the last 10 weeks, and it just showed up. So I'm excited to give it a try in Squadrons, and that's what I'll be doing tonight. I'm also upping my game with a new joystick and hands-on throttle so I can ditch this Xbox controller I've been using so far. The results are promising. So without VR, playing the game on a regular PC monitor, I found myself struggling to find targets in the cage. I had even more of a challenge keeping them in my sights with all that flying around that they did. Uh, the indicators telling me where my target was off screen weren't always helpful, so I was constantly losing track of where things were. Worse yet, not having enough fingers to make use of the free look often meant the target would get behind me and I'd end up losing the fight. It's completely different than VR. The headset allows you the free look just by moving your head around. The HUD throws a lot of information at you, so if you're a newer player like me, or not as experienced with flight sims, uh, also like me, it can get overwhelming. The cool thing is, I'm noticing in VR that my ability to make visual contact with another fighter is greatly improved, and I'm not relying on the HUD as much. Or maybe that's just me getting better at the game in general. I don't know. I do know that sitting in the cockpit with my hands on a joystick improves maneuverability. At least until I get shot and blow up. Jumping back into the match here, I start to cycle through some targets, looking for the closest enemy to my position. The battle, uh, at least in the the early stages is a bit frustrating in that you respawn quite some distance away from the action and it takes a minute to get back into the fray. I've identified this guy, uh, Dirty Waffle, buzzing around not doing much, so I'm going to zip in and hopefully hunt him down before somebody else engages me. You can see the free looking play as he flies off to my left and I'm quickly able to track him down and fall into place behind him for an easy kill. At this point, I'm not doing much of anything. My squadron's about to go on the defensive, and I don't want to be caught in the crossfire when it's the Empire's turn to attack. So I start making my way back to the fleet. My fleet. Uh, flying around asteroids and structures, uh, just getting a feel for my new controller config. I think uh, one of my favorite things is to do is, uh, besides shooting people, is to just navigate through obstacles without trying to crash into things. It's almost relaxing in a way, uh, like a Sunday drive in space with big rocks. Is that weird? So I come around the corner here, I see a raider heading for the frigates, and I do what any good pilot would do, and strafe him. Of course he doesn't do much, these guys have a lot of health, uh, they can take a beating. So I fly off. Chase that tie bomber. I end up getting him, fly back past the raider, and then come back around again. Yeah, at this point, the dogfighting starts to get really intense as the ships get closer and closer together. And uh, there end up being a lot of targets to choose from. So. Now that our morale is boosted, I head back over to the other side of the battlefield to uh, take on the cruisers. But I don't think I have much luck uh, being a single 
fighter against the onslaught of that cruiser. I didn't last very long. You know, most of the time I have a good grasp of the situation. Uh, objectives, things that are going on. Um, but sometimes I lose track of everything. And I'm just flying around aimless and not really being much use or benefit to anybody. Um, sometimes, though, it's just a matter of flying back into battle after respawning. Uh, in some matches, um, as soon as you get back into it, you know, you've got a guy on your tail who's shooting at you and you last maybe 30 seconds. Um, fortunately, that hasn't been the case uh, during this battle. The New Republic uh, side has been on the offensive for most of the match and have kept their defenses up, so it makes uh, makes for a really easy time for us getting getting back over to the opposing side. Uh, you can see um, I'm just flying around, really not doing much uh, again at this point. It's kind of an empty field where I am. Um, but then oh, I get blown up again. Um, so I jump back into it once again. Uh, this time I can see based on that symbol there uh, Tie Reapers heading in uh, toward one of the frigates. So I go and I take him out. And then I fly towards the other side of the map. Uh, almost crashing. Uh, <laughs> on the way. I'm trying to do my fancy stunt work. Um, I pick up this guy. I think he was a TIE bomber. He's hard to kill, but he was heading our way, so I grabbed him, and then there's, there's another reaper that comes in, so, or a, a raider in this case, not a reaper, um, because the, the other team's on the defensive, or offensive, I'm getting my words backwards here, so I gave him a straight kick out who I can, or at least try to, and you can see, being able to look around uh, through the VR headsets really helpful for keeping track of things. So I just, I fly around the frigate trying to do my best to, to protect that, but I think we ended up losing it. So I just fly around and take out more fighters. support craft. Uh, I've used it quite a bit when I play as uh, the Empire. And I'm flying in a Star Destroyer. That was too close. Which is the completely wrong way to go at this point. Uh, at least by myself. So I hightail it out of there.
really not much going on at this point, so I turn around, head back to where I came from. Uh, somebody got him before me. So I fly over and see what's going on. Now, at this point, I approach and attack the Star Destroyer. Um, Took me a little to, took me getting closer to it to realize the shields were still up, so I wasn't doing anything to it at this point. But now I'm inside the shield bubble. Uh, actually, I'm chasing a TIE fighter, and probably a bad decision on my part. Doing this so close to the Star Destroyer. But I'm feeling bold, so I give him a shot. He's evading, and I'm shooting, and I'm dying, because I decided to dogfight. You thought I wasn't gonna show uh, up. Over a star destroyer. See that? Shoot it. So we're about to lose our morale again. Um, pick up another target, and I start heading for him. Missiles at him, uh, hammer him until he finally goes down. He's another tie bomber. They take a lot of, uh, they can take a beating too before they finally blow up. I got him, uh, and then I die again. And sometimes that's the way it goes when we're playing this. You kill your target and immediately die afterwards from the guy that sniped up on you. But at this point, the battle's getting pretty crazy. Uh, morale shifts one way or the other in a matter of minutes. Um, support ships are flying all around. The attack ships are flying all around. Uh, lasers going everywhere. I mean, it looks really sweet in VR. Uh, especially if you're able to go around and look at it. Uh, you know, free look. Um, the only thing I noticed, though, after playing for a while, is that doing a, doing a barrel roll while making a turn um, what would you do without me? caused some dizziness uh, and a little bit of vertigo, which is a really weird feeling when you're sitting motionless in a chair. But you know, the more the more I play like that, the the uh, worse it feels. Almost like I'm getting used to it. So I decided to make another run at the uh, Star Destroyer here, going for the shield. Um, my, my lasers are decharged at the moment, so I'm only firing one at a time. Kind of pointless. And again, you know, not a very good decision on my part. Doing a solo run in the Star Destroyer. We're getting close to victory, so we keep at it. Um, there isn't much in the way of coordination or teamwork. Everybody kind of flies around doing their own thing, but they're trying to achieve the larger goal. So we just keep flying straight ahead and trying to take out the enemy. This is one of those instances I mentioned earlier where, where you can lose track easily of things that are going on because it just gets so busy. So uh, with practice and, and uh, more play time, that gets easier to deal with. But, uh, at this point, I was a little bit confused by it. But the uh, 
uh, the battle has shifted again, so um, we start going the other way, and you can see how much calmer it gets on this end of the map when it shifts to the other side. So I started another run on the Star Destroyer. There, it's almost toast at this point, and uh, by the time I chase that guy down it was done so hey that's the end of the video i uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel i'd appreciate it uh, this is the right one signing off